uh, the veterans are part of the most important aspects of our country. And here they are. Uh, they're not getting their medications on time. The homeless veterans are, are in need of uh, medications. They're in need of their checks. They're in need of their benefits. They're in need of conversation with the VA. So Terry, would you give an overview of what's going on because, and the importance of mail to the veterans and the homeless veterans that you work with? Absolutely, I will be happy to. Uh, you know, for the last several years, the Veterans Administration has really transitioned most delivery of medications to mail service. So as uh, Congressman Sam said, something between 80 and 90% of all medications going to veterans, and we have a large veteran population in this country, go through the mail. And I have to tell you, I'm, I have a lot of ties in the veteran community, so I get a lot of emails and I get a lot of discussion and so forth. And this whole issue with underfunding or underutilizing our, uh, our postal service is creating incredible anxiety amongst the veterans, especially those veterans that live in the rural areas. Right now I'm living up in the, uh, in the Muggy on Grim country and there are a lot of veterans up here, a lot of retirees. They're all dependent on the mail service to get their, their medications on time. And it's not just medications, uh, notifications for appointments. Uh, the Veterans Benefits Administration sends out uh, communications uh, by mail, and those are critical to, uh, to the life and to the, to the activities of veterans. So uh, the other thing that a lot of people sort of overlook is, and I know several mail carriers myself, and I have great respect for the work, work that they do. They're very service oriented. And something like 18%, maybe as much as 20% of our, uh, of our postal workers are veterans. So if they're going to cut back on overtime, uh, they're going to take out some of the equipment. Potentially, they could even lay off postal workers if they had to. You know, that's going to have a major effect on veterans. So this is not the time during a pandemic and with all the other things going on in this country right now to be attacking our postal service. You know, this is the time when we should be shoring those people up. I consider postal workers to be essential workers, just like people working in healthcare. You know, their jobs are absolutely critical. And to demoralize these people, as uh, some in the administration have done by saying, hey, we're going to take some of these uh, benefits away from you, or we're going to cut back your hours, or maybe we don't think you're doing the job that you should be doing. This is a, that's, that's a horrible thing right now. But again, I'm living up in a rural area. There are a lot of retired uh retired veterans up here and, you know, Republicans and Democrats, and they're all concerned. You know, they're, they're, their lives depend in many cases on getting those medications and getting them on time. So, and in terms of veterans who are experiencing homelessness, for several years, I ran a, a transitional living center for veterans. And I'm telling you the at least 50%, maybe more of the mail that we received at that shelter was uh, medication. So, Another critical component in helping veterans who have ended up out on the street is making sure that their health care needs are taken care of. And we cannot, we cannot break our, uh, our, our trust with our, with our uh, postal service and, and uh, give them any kind of an indication that we don't think their jobs are essential. There's just too many people that depend on it. It really, it, this whole thing really makes me kind of angry. And I've talked to a lot of other veterans that feel the same way about it. You know, the, the, the timing for this is just horrible. So uh, I'm glad to hear that there's been some change, but this issue will come up again, even if, it's a, if it doesn't happen until some point in the future. So we need to provide more resources to our postal service. We need to uh, allow all of the, the equipment and postals, you know, abilities for people to get to the post office as much as possible. And we need to allow people to, to feel comfortable that if they're going to send in their vote by mail, that it's going to be received on time and it's going to be counted. So, uh, yeah, veterans are very much in, in support of the Postal Service. That's great. Thank you, Terry, for all you do for our veterans also. And it's a great answer, too. Thank you.